Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim Classic video. So good morning driver, we're currently in the busy end of the morning peak areas and as a result we're late leaving Cannon Street for our service to Gravesend. Open the doors and await for the dispatcher to allow you to depart. You'll be going via Lewisham towards Gravesend so don't expect an easy run. Cool, uh, so we are back on the North Kent line, um, well South Eastern Network, North Kent line. Um, let's get everything set up, yeah. As AWS Good. Yeah, do you as well? Where are our open doors buttons? Where where are the door? This is the seven oh seven. There's the one there, but that's not the one, is it? Where's the right hand? Oh, here. It's a bit different to the uh, to the seven hundred. <laughs> here we are, though. This is. Uh, yeah, Cannon Street. So we are formed of 10 coaches. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 10 coaches uh, on a service all the way down to Gravesend. So we're going quite the way down. There you go, Gravesend. Sort of the full Gravesend service. So yeah, uh, should be a nice run. Uh, and yeah, as I said, running via Lewis ship. So it's going to be a really long video, but um, that's fine. I thought we got to get back on here, and the 707, we got to give that a drive as well. Um, so we are going to be calling at, uh, they're all on already, uh, Cannon Street where we are now, London Bridge, uh, New Cross, St John's, Lewisham, Blackheath, Charlton, Woodage Dockyard, Woodage Arsenal, Plumstead, Abbey Wood, Belvedere, Erif, Slade Green, Dartford, Greenhive, hang on, do we... Oh, we don't stop. Okay, we're actually quite quick off. Okay. Uh, let's get the doors shut. We don't stop at um, Stone Cross and or Swanscombe or even North Fleet. It's alright. Right, let's go. Let's get out of there. See so, yeah, a London Bridge in. Well, it's, it's not far. <laughs> not far at all. Let's go. I don't know if somewhere we were, uh, yeah. I don't know if in somewhere we were meant to be dispatched, but uh, well, we weren't. Cool. Over the Thames. Cannon Street is sort of the the odd one out. You sort of got all the you know all the big ones, uh, you know, Charing Cross. Uh, well, that's not really a big one, but yeah, Cannon Street sort of the little one. <laughs> The little termini. Just over the river. So you will see some trains sort of floating. Or basically, you'll just see the coupler. That's the 376. Or, well, the 378 reskinned into a 376. Doesn't work for me. Which is a shame. So FPS will be slightly low coming out of here. As it's um, well, as it's London Bridge we're coming into, so I would imagine there's going to be quite a lot of AI. So do ignore the FPS until we're basically St John's New Crossway. One of the reasons I didn't do this way for the first look is I knew it'd be a bit laggy coming out of uh, Cannon Street through London Bridge. But once we're past that, it'll be fine. Got the lovely interior as well. Never been on a city beam. I've seen them plenty, but never haven't ventured onto one yet. That feels a bit tight coming across there, blimey. What was that twenty as well? Gonna have a borough market, do a little brake test. Yeah, I'd say that seems to be working fine. Let's get back in. And soon to be arriving into probably the biggest stop of the journey, London Bridge. Looks like a diesel somewhere, so I'm assuming that must be an upfield service. You hear that? Can you hear a diesel? Yeah, I assume that's probably a 170 or 171 making its way out.
Yeah, so just bear with the lag. I mean, it looks like there's a full amount of AI here at London Bridge. So that's a lot of trains. So uh, it's not going to run smoothly at all. Probably also worth saving it quite regularly as well. Let's do that now. But yeah, once we're south of um, sort of yeah New Cross, it should um, stabilise a bit. Or well, basically, just once we're once we're out of London Bridge, so it will be quite laggy for for, for the time being. What the hell? Never noticed that before. <laughs> it's got a, a V2 flying rocket. Attached to the well, I suppose it's probably not there anymore, it's probably been demolished, but as you do, just a V2. A V2 flying bomb. Um let's do that. Back here. Never noticed that there. Never noticed it. Well, in the game. Wonder where that's been moved to in real life. And is it actually a real V2 or sort of just maybe that's a club or something there called V2? Was there's a southern over there, so yeah, right to the end here. It's a bit slow, and that it definitely is the full amount of AI. There's just trains everywhere, which is very impressive. Cranky bot, this is one of uh, Cranky bot's um, scenarios. So extremely impressive there is that amount of AI. And it hasn't crashed yet. Oh, that'll do. So we drew out of London Bridge uh 8.46. And, oh yeah, it did say we were late, didn't it? Basically, as soon as we are ready, and then we got yes, a uh, new cross after this. Let's go. Let's get out of Lag Bridge. Well, leaving London Bridge behind, fortunately. That should sort of improve basically as we go along. Really cool to see though, just the amount of AI which has been packed in. Really cool. But yeah, certainly a lot. I mean, is that train literally just behind that one? That, oh no, well, there's that, and there would be more. But yeah, the 376s we can't see because some. I've installed it twice and it just it doesn't show. I'm not sure what it is. Not not the end of the world though. As it's not actually a 376, it's a 378 reskin. They look extremely close to those trains. Oh my god. Talk about just about fitting in the signal section. Look at that. <laughs> what the hell? I'm not sure that could happen, but uh, okay. I mean, that is extremely close. Yeah, just just a tad close. There you go. The Thames Link speeding up. So yeah, we're not going via Greenwich, which is probably the faster way. We sort of go the slower way. It was all the way down to Lewisham, and then sort of Blackheath, then back up. We don't just sort of skip and, you know, uh, Deptford, Greenwich, Mays Hill, Westcombe Park. We don't get the pleasure of going that way. There you go, so it should hopefully start going up as we move away from London Bridge. Only 14 FPS at the moment. So we get that up. Get away from the other trains. Yeah, again, still surprised it hasn't booted us out yet. I'm just going to save it again. As we are now past London Bridge. I'll keep, I'll keep the FPS counter there. Just so you can see, hopefully, improvements as we uh, make our way south. 
or south east at the moment. Lovely. Now, there's no Thames Link flyover either. Is that a 170? Yeah, uh, well, 171. Yeah, 170, what a turbo star. Of a service up from Uckfield. I think that one kilos or something. No, but there, there it is. There's a 171. FPS is still not recovered yet. Hopefully it does soon enough. Is that the incinerator? It's like, yeah, some sort of incinerator plant there. So as you come in, you see all the trucks sort of all lining up, ready to go in, in real life. And it's not too far to New Cross either. So we shall be ready for that. Again, apologies for the FPS, but I mean, this is Train Sim Classic at the max. Uh, I'm ready to put it hasn't, is, is it, it's not, like it's literally just at 14 FPS. Well, hopefully soon enough that will uh, go up. Don't really want to be sat at 14 FPS for much longer. <laughs> You've got the Millwall Stadium on the right. Right, it's starting to uh, slow down. We have got the uh, caution. FPS, go up. You're out of London Bridge now. You don't need to be low. I know we're still in quite a busy area with lots of AI, but just go up. For the best. I reckon this could be a signal we have to tab past. Well, I was saying that we do have. There is a signal there with a position one junction indicator, so there probably actually is something going ahead of us. Signal, you could have put us in front. Maybe that's a service going via Deptford. I can hear something coming. Or not. There's a network or somewhere I can hear it on its way up. I don't know, yeah, there it is there. Uh... Alright, let's whack the DRA on. I'll be cheeky and just see if they say approved. No, denied. So we've got sit and wait, probably lost our path. Noisy old thing. Uh, 466 and then two 465s. Yeah, I'm surprised it hasn't gone up yet, the uh, frame rate. So just at 14 FPS. So that's the line via uh, Deptford. I think you can see Deptford, can't you? Yeah, just about Deptford. We have to go the slow way. Slightly slow way via that key. Oh, it comes. That Thames ain't going. Going first. <laughs> it goes but no the North Kent line had so much more in um, that's 14 FPS must be sort of the lowest it goes to it doesn't seem to be going any lower than that um, yeah because you've got the Thames link so I mean more and more of the Thames link network now and we've almost got all of the Thames link network in the game uh, the only bit we're missing is three bridges to Horsham um, I suppose you could count the canal tunnel from St Pancras to um, just north of the Gasworks tunnel and also the Wimbledon loop or Sutton loop um, which we've got the track that we don't have the scenery and then I think we've then got all of the Thames Inc network which is quite impressive because in the last update for this route we got the um, uh, the bit to Seven Oaks via Ainsford. But this just adds a whole massive missing chunk. As we had. Um, we, uh, we had, yeah, we had Rainham to Dartford on Train Sim World, and on Train Sim Classic it was only to uh, Gravesend. 
but now all that's been added in on here. Let's go. I'm still waiting for the FPS to jump up. It hasn't. Oh, hang on. It went up to 15. We're making progress. Go on. Go up more. Forty-five. Okay. Well, away we go. Goodbye, more direct route. <laughs> We're going the slow way. It shouldn't be too far along to uh, to a new cross. I'm really glad we did do that scenario. What we did for the first look. Well, we sort of started at Slade Green. Actually, yeah, it wouldn't. I, I mean, if you have, if you are watching this far, thanks for staying in. So, see, it's a little bit on the uh, on the laggy side. Which I know when I'm watch when I'm watching something that starts lagging, it's like, oh, I don't want lag. And this is a new cross where you get the overground serbs terminating, which come down the East London line. And you also get the ones where go to Crystal Palace as well. And West Croydon. Here we are. Is it a short platform? It looks relatively long. I might put it on SDO anyway. Which I think is like Control R to put it on SDO. It's one of the buttons. Just make sure the doors don't open where they shouldn't. And here we are, this is New Cross. Uh, select the door operation, yep, yeah, that's the one. No, it's not a short platform, but we'll probably do a couple on the route. I can't imagine someone like Arif has got 10 coach platform. It might though. Well, you know it's saying that the 465s, they don't have SDO, do they, on the 466s, and they run as 10 coaches. So we should actually be okay, but I'll put it on SDO just in case. So we're new out, uh, due out of here at 52, and it's now 56. Um, so I'd, I'd, we probably will be late the whole entire run, but then that's part of the scenario, being late. And then, yeah, it is, uh, well, St. John's next. So full power, let's get out of here, let's get moving. Let's try and make up um, as much time as we can. Which I don't think there's really much allowance on here. Although I know going the other way, although that was on the Thameslink service, we had about three minutes at Dartford. Might be the same. I'm going to get that straight up to 60. Well, I was saying that, St John's is not far. Let's see if we get up to 60. Cool. Oh yeah, we're about 50. See St. John's coming up, so we'll get ready to slow down. Lewisham's another area where the FPS drops. So you've got tons of trackage, tons of trains crossing over each other. So yeah, again, it will be a little bit laggy. I do hope it does start going up after Lewisham though, because after that it's, well, it's sort of on to normal. There's a lot of, lot of traction about. But yeah, this is St John's. Probably right towards the end of the platform. Who's this waiting to get in? It's right down the end, okay. Might come up with a blurb saying, I oh, know, someone's getting on with you. Is that a... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, here we are. This is 
St. John's, and then literally just along there is Lewisham. If I give it, you know, a bit of time. That will do. Right, let's go Lewisham next. And after Lewisham, we're then on to the, well, the Lewisham, well, we're still we're sort of on the Lewisham line. And once we get sort of up to Charleston, we're then on the North Kent slash Woolwich line. There we go. So there's sort of two ways you can go from Lewisham, it's towards Blackheath but then also towards um, Catford Bridge uh, and then onwards to, well, either Beckenham Junction um, or along the Hayes Branch. Yeah, so the Hayes services would go off there to the right, which I think was the first ever video we did on this, um, on the South Eastern Network route. Was to um, to Hayes in the seven oh seven. Why get your tails on? You're a Victoria service. That's the other way. <laughs> Probably right to the end again. Bit slow coming out at twenty. Let's sort of see why. So at Lewisham we have got the DLR. It's one of the... Um, well actually there's a couple. Well, it's both two places actually. Which we'll be going to. You've got the DLR here at Lewisham. Then also at... I think it's Woolwich Arsenal. You've got the other end of another DLR branch. DLR is down here somewhere. I don't know if it actually is on here. Oh, is it? I think it's somewhere like in the middle down there where all those buses are. Right, let's get those doors shut. And onwards to Blackheath. Again, keeping that FPS count on. Let's go. Up to 60, well, once the back of the train's passed it. So the one, one of the bits I've actually been on in real life, this bit, when I when I went on here, it was Victoria to Dartford. So only as far as the junction, just after Blackheath. And it turns off onto the uh, Bexley Heath line. In which I think it's going to be sort of probably within the next update for this. There's the back leaves, so there we go. And we can speed that up to a much nicer speed. Or well, the black heath's not that far along. Cool. What's everybody's favourite way to go on this route if you've played it yet? Via Greenwich or via Blackheath? With the bit via Greenwich being quite a bit quicker. And this is Blackheath we're coming up to. Start getting those brakes on. And we go through the massive tunnel after this as well. Not sure what the AI have got their tail lights on. It almost seems like they're not activated yet. And right towards the end. It's not here, is it? No, oh, yeah, there. So not. Oh, oh there, now it's off. So that we're making up the time. <laughs> we probably shouldn't be, but we are. We're ahead of the AI. 
Let's see. Uh, Blackheath. Uh, that one I assume, 9.01. So we're, at, we're making it up two minutes now. Or well, weren't we always two minutes? Or was it four minutes before? So if you had the position four junction indicator, that would mean you're going on the Bexley Heath line. Which is probably the faster way, faster route to Dartford. Um, which yeah, comes off here and it basically just cuts across and joins up here. So yeah, probably actually slightly quicker. There's quite a few stations on it though. So the FPS is starting to redeem itself now. Good. And wasn't it really slow through this tunnel as well? Like 30 for it. There's some sort of old platform there. Was it a lower speed limit for it? Yeah, 30. Well, around this corner, it's usually in a straight line. That's like one of those annoying speed limits. Right, we'll get that off now. So that's now sort of gone back up to how you'd expect the FPS to be. But yeah, we're on, well and truly on our way. It's nice that we get to run slightly fast after Dartford as well. Not yet, because well, we're literally every single stop until Dartford. The North Kent City Beam. Yeah, I'll try and put that in the top. City Beam. Kent City Beam. I don't know, something like that. And then on the other side of here is going to be Charlton Station. Which is where we then start seeing Thameslink again. There we go. So yeah, it's really slow for over here. Even though it's, it's a straight line. 30 miles an hour. It's like on the uh, Goblin line going between, um, uh, was it Crouch Hill and uh, South Tottenham, just 30, even though it's a straight line for most of it. It's nice and steady and slow. Now, if you are enjoying the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. It all does help out. Um, and obviously, if you want to try out the route yourself, it is on the Steam Workshop. It's free. So feel free to uh, give it a go. Even if you don't have all the requirements, you can still give it a go. You might be missing a few things, but overall, it should be okay. Uh, we'll also have a little look at Angerstein Wharf, which is here as well. Um, which... Well, as we don't do freight stuff, we probably won't see much of. So we'll have a little peek at that, which I know comes off round here. Joining up with the uh, bit via Greenwich. That's the Angerstein Wharf branch there going off. So we'll fly back in a second and have... Actually, let's do it now. We do that. Pause break. So it goes off down here. And then into here. That's Anchor Stein Wharf. Uh, which was done by Crankybot, I believe. Crankybot did the uh, scenery for that little bit. And the rest is Nicholas. So yeah, if you want to do some freight stuff, you have got Anchor Stein Wharf, which you can do freight stuff with. Good stuff. And yeah, there's the line. Which uh, left us at... Um, just before uh, New Cross. Again, I feel like we're ahead of the AI. We're all just sat there. And yeah, 
this is Charlton. So you do get the football stadium just round the corner. Now I assume we're following the um, the uh, S car stop. Because it all would be for the Thameslink 700s. I don't think the 707s follow that. Because, well, we don't have RLU and FLU 707s. So we'll just follow the, um, I believe we'll just follow the S car stop, 10 car stop. That's really for us. Right, Charlton. Uh, that was here in at 9.08. So, yeah, we are making up time. And Woolwich Dockyard next. So it's not too tight, you can still make it. We'll save it as well just in case. And the warning for the blooming 30 limit. We had a double yellow, didn't we, as well? There's the uh, Charleston Stadium. I like green light now, that's good. Probably following that um, 700, maybe the one which we um, saw sort of go. Actually, no, probably not. That's probably way long gone. We might be there. Not be careful, because that 30 will be starting soon. There it is. There, I think. So I'll put that down. We'll have a little look, a little cheeky look at the map to see where that Thames link has got to. But I would imagine it probably has gone. It's much quicker going via via Greenwich. Let's have a look. Okay, it's not actually too far ahead, but still, obviously, slightly quicker. I'll try and get a screenshot coming around here. It's sort of a nice place for us. Sort of a nice bit of openness. There we go, look at that, lovely. The 707, which I think we've done two videos on or so, not not a lot in. Obviously now this route is out, I'm sure we'll be doing lots more 707 action. And also a relatively easy route to learn hardless, the speed doesn't change much. I mean, it's 60 all the way from sort of Woodage Arsenal all the way to Slade Green. I guess Slade Green it comes down to about 40, 20 into Dartford, and then we know the limits past Dartford from TSW. But this is Woodage Dockyard. Following that Thames link, it's a double yellow. In fact, we probably actually will. We will probably get stuck behind that once we get to um, past Dartford. As past Dartford, that Thames link will be stopping everywhere. So. Lovely. But yeah, assuming we are stopping on the uh, the non diamond stop uh, stop boards. I think they're sort of predominantly Thames link. That right, woodage uh eleven pass would you a minute and a half late now. Right, let's go. Up to 30. And what is our snorf isn't that far. Which is, yeah, we, if we have a little, we might well, have a little cheeky look and see if we can see the DLR. If that's been modelled. There's a 
376 or an imaginary 376. Someone please do the 376. It would be great to actually have it in the game. Um, I mean, I, I doubt it would be Dovetail doing a 376. It would probably you know, be a third party dev, AP, AT, I don't know. But 376 would be nice to have. It probably could be AP doing it. They've already got all the sounds for the Electro Stars. So I suppose it'll be modelling sort of, well... I suppose it'd be basically modelling the whole train, wouldn't it be, I suppose? But I mean, now we've got this route, and obviously there's prospect of more to come. Um, there's the 20. Did I mention the 20? Um, yeah, the prospect of more sort of southeast and metro stuff to come. It'll be a, a good time to do it for 876. Yeah, Woodage Arsenal. I have to go on this bit in real life now. <laughs> the game's enticing me to. Pretty nice. Here we are. This is it, Woolwich Arsenal. Uh, let's have a little look to see to see if we can see the uh, DLR. I'm assuming that must be the DLR there. And I think it literally sort of connects to it. So there, that would be the DLR in there. Right, Woolwich Arsenal. 14 past. That's a minute. Let's get the uh, doors shut. And then Plum's dead next. miles per hour limit we can go up to so that's nice have a bit of about well, 60 now the way I think to, yeah, to Slade Green or at least going the other way so I'm assuming it's the same I've never driven this way but assuming it is the uh, the same let's back that up into Plumstead. And after this one it's sort of another sort of main one being the uh, where the Elizabeth line sort of intersects with us. Well where the Elizabeth line terminates one of the branches. That comes up next. Yeah, it looks very nice. Very good work by uh, Nicholas, who's the uh, sort of developer of the Southeastern Network. Brilliant stuff. Here we are. This is Plumstead. And now we wait. And yeah, Abbey Wood after this. Plumstead. I assume it's that one. 9.16. And we were due out. And let's go. It's a really nice livery. This train really does suit it. Better than the Southwest Trains livery. So nice, the um, City Beam. Sorry to Southwest Trains or SWR 707 lovers, but it does look better in blue. Much cleaner. And Abbey Wood next, which isn't too far up. You can see the overhead containery showing off the Elizabeth line. 
And there's Abbey Wood Station just there. Is that is that the 700 we're following? Actually, it's only just about going ahead. It appears from the tunnel under there. Yes, there we go, we're still here. There we go, at 60. Lovely, as we approach our next station stop, and our sort of key station stop, uh, yeah, Abbey Wood. I'm, I'm thinking we probably will make up the time by Dartford. I think by Dartford we'll be on time. It really depends whether we go in front or behind that Thameslink. That Thameslink will probably go ahead of us, we'll be following that all the way to Gravesend. If only this was in TSW, though. That would be cool. Obviously brilliant having it on here, but maybe one day it will come to TSW. Yeah, that's the Liz Line platforms there on the left. And right down towards the end. I wonder if we ever would see an adventure on here. I mean, considering the adventure has just come out to TSW being the 710, you know, Dovetail might sort of back they um backport it onto Train Sim Classic and I don't know do something on here. And so I could reskin it into uh, Crossrail. Here we are Abbey Wood. Yeah, next up is Belvedere, isn't it? Yeah, oh, hang on. Yeah, uh, Belvedere? Yeah, Belvedere. Which isn't too far along. Yeah, 9, 30. Cool. I was saying that the Thames Inc. will actually get ahead of us quite a bit because the Thames Inc. won't stop at Area 4 Belvedere. Or, um, yeah, it stops at Slade Green, but yeah, Belvedere and Area 4 don't stop at. So that will get about four minutes ahead of us. As each stop is sort of about two minutes. So we should be okay actually. And let's go. Be a nice uh, burst of uh, Train Sim Classic energy. There's not really been much going on for Train Sim Classic recently. Um, I mean, yeah, nothing really. Or at least which has been of interest to me as such. So it's um, great that this is out. A new burst to play Train Sim Classic. And it also interests me because it's Thameslink, South Eastern, Third Rail, literally my cup of tea. is not too far along. I'm just about to see it. It's on the corner. There it is there. I don't know where the uh, border of Kent is. I don't know if we're already in Kent. I mean, Abbey Wood's definitely London, but Belvedere and Erie? No, Dartford's London. No, Dartford is London, isn't it? Or is Dartford in Kent? I suppose somewhere near Dartford must be sort of the border. Right to the end here as well, I'd imagine. That's for some reason we're stopping somewhere like there, but we're not. That's good. Yeah, this is Belvedere. Get a nice departure. Let's get a um, shuttle bus departing from the front. 
haven't really got one of them yet. That would be nice, yeah, coming out of there. Let's go. Watch as it leaves. R25 coach units. Yeah, it just looks beautiful though, doesn't it, in the blue. Really, really suits it. is up next which isn't that far along so it's sort of more of a metro route this one all sort of close together lots of trains cool there you go that would do it There's a Thameslink 700. The service up to Luton. And they've got the really noisy road next to us as well. As you can hear in the background. Probably actually causing some of the lag as well through here. I might just be Slade Green loading in actually. But yeah, this is Erif. How long has it been so far? I've sort of, I've, you just lose track of time playing this. Must have been at least 40 minutes already. I think it said it was about 70 minutes this scenario. So that would probably work out 40 minutes or so already. Here we are. Welcome to Erif. And then Slade Green next. Uh, let's see, Erif. Where's that one going to be? That was. That'd be Wood. Where would it be? Erif. 25. And we are on time. Literally on time now. And we're due in there. Oh, 52 we're due in there. Okay, we've still got a bit of a way then. I'll say that sort of works out, sort of 40 minutes already. Right, let's go. Slade Green up next. What's that down to 40? What's that? I was just saying it's 60 again. Okay. So I'm just reminding you that it's 60. Yeah, I'm just double check. It's still, so yeah, it's just, just, it's just one of those reminding. One that throws you off. You're like, hang on, what? Is it, is it not 60 already? I think it's 40 parts of Slade Green. I'll save the game again, just in case it gets unhappy. Double yellow, so probably yeah, again catching up to the Thames link maybe. Or it might be a service coming along the Bexley Heath line. So that sort of joins up with us not too far past Slade Green. So that could be what it is. And there is Slade Green. Actually, it probably is what it is, actually. We're just waiting for a service coming along from uh, Bexley Heath. Which I believe uh, in the next timetable change. I think they're actually changing um, the timetable. I think it's going to be Victoria to Gravesend services. Because at the moment, the services from Victoria only go to Dartford. 
Because I think in the next timetable change, they're going to go to Gravesend. And after that, probably actually is a, Oh, no, not yet. I was going to say, it probably is a possible service. And I, yeah, remember, we don't have the Bexley Heath line. But yeah, when the Bexley Heath line does release on here, you'll be able to do Victoria all the way to Dartford. Which would be cool. So sort of coming out of... Was it not on here? Yeah, coming out of here. Along here. None heads. Yeah, down here. Uh, Lewisham. Yeah, and then down there. That would be cool. Right, Dartford's up next. So that goes that goes to the Bexley Heath line down there to the right. Uh, down at Barnshurst, I think that's the next one if you go along there. Right, next station, uh, next uh, signal will be red, so we've got to look out for that. But be careful, there it is there. Uh, scary. Yeah, after Dartford, we actually go to get to go a little bit fast. We have to skip out uh, some stations. Well, two, uh, three stations in total. We'll just have that green hive as well. Is that one for us? I'm assuming that one's for us. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of more on the left of the other. No, it would be for us. Surely that's for us. So yeah, probably a train coming across the uh, the points just ahead of us. There, that's where it joins up. Now uh, we will tab it. Have a little look, see at the map. Uh, we are there. Yep, that's what we're waiting for. Minor delays that one there, and you've got one literally just behind that as well. Well, the best we have to wait for that as well. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're waiting for. Two uniform fourteen, and possibly even two Mike two two. So this will put us back a little bit as we sit and wait here at Slade, and next to Slade Green, so all the trains are out. There it is four six five. Well, hang on, why is that coming to a... Oh, it's slowing down, isn't it? So, why is that coming to a stop as well? That can't be right. There it is. Come on, out of the way, we're coming through. Got a gradient coming down there. That's going across. Hopefully, we'll be allowed out after that. Hopefully, we're not going to have to wait for the other one behind it. I mean, that one said it was late, so fair enough. That one's going. So we we were literally make it. We were literally back on time, and now we're gonna basically lose that because of that train. Come on. There we are. Single yellow. Following closely behind that train. Have to be on the ball. At least we don't have to wait for the other one though. Just there like that. Very close signal sections here. That slate green signal box over there as well, like that. Cool. Right. Get that just a little bit. Just coast it about that. Depends what platform that one's going into at um, uh, Dartford. No, oh, that was a Dartford service, wasn't it? I think that one terminates. So hopefully that will sort of be out of the way. We'll be on platform four. Either platform one, it'll be the far end one. So either one or four, that is. Quality is really good on this. Also, considering it's on the Steam Workshop, which means you're sort of limited to what you can use. 
that you can only use things in the game. That you can't go to and get outside custom assets. Nice. So just taking it nice and steady. There's absolutely no point going quick. Oh, got a green light now, so that must be out of the way. I'll still take it slow. As the speed probably will drop down pretty soon. But yeah, this is on the other side of Dartford to any TSW players wondering what is past Dartford. This is past Dartford. Then we got the Sid Cup line which joins up. Which then goes and joins the main line at Hither Green. As we be around into Dartford. Yeah, it would be cool to see the route extended again on TSW. Would it happen? Probably quite low chances, but it would be cool to see it go a bit yeah, further past Dartford. And there it is, Dartford. Platform 4. We'll save it as well, so this is sort of another big point of the journey. And there's that terminating service there over there on the right. So now every time we play this on TSW, it'll be like, I could just go on the train some classic and drive it the whole way. Now we've got the North Kent line. Or is that the turn? No, what's that? Is that, is that another service down there? Oh no. Here we are. Cool, oh, Dartford. We've done it. I'm well, not done yet, but close. The start for looks really good with a little pond there as well. Right, so we were due out of Dartford at uh, 37, so we're actually doing yeah, we're, we're on time. Which is good, you do get quite a bit of allowance at Dartford. You can see you get four minutes. So that well, that's plenty of time. Yeah, so we're back on time. And then due into Green Hive at 41.30. And then Gravesend nine minutes later. I don't know if it will take us nine minutes so to get from Green Hive to Dartford. Only if we're following something. If anything, that's probably five minutes. Right, uh, Dartford... 37, so we get the door shut. Let's go. Up to 20. And then you got another service coming in already. It's all things that go at It's a hive of activity. One of the things I like doing on trains in well, just spawn it at Dartford and just watch all the trains come and go. A bit slow out of there. So we're skipping out Stone Crossing. And on the other side of Green Hive, Swanscombe and um, North Fleet. Which is surprising. I don't. Uh, it's surprising we don't stop at. What about that North Fleet? Ah, let's get that up. 
until on um well same really with TSW, you don't have to wait for the bar to go through. Well you do more so on TSW, but on this game you can leave and it's fine. So we're sti sticking to the real timetable, not the train sim classic, wait for sixty seconds or so. No need to do that. Straightens up and we can speed up to 70. Eh? Yeah, 70. It's a nice bit of speed. So I say, that will probably that'll be the fastest we've been able to go all journey. Right, let's get that up. That's weird passing through, but yeah, we get to skip out stone crossing. So right the way through there. And then unless you just round the corner's green hive. Well not just round the corner, we can still don't need to slow down just yet. Probably not until the signal. Gym about now. Don't really want to be overshooting this uh, in this late stage of the journey. So yeah, all this is neon train some classic. That looks very good. towards the end here. There you go, 8 to 10. That's where we're going. Yeah, look at that, just in. Here we are, this is the Graves End. Uh, Groves End, Green Hive. Begins with a G, alright. <laughs> and there's a 376. Well, there's a couple of 376. Right, Green Hive, we're due out of here at 43, so we've got about a minute here. And yeah, then it's, get, it's given us 9 minutes to get to Graves End. Which is quite a, dis uh, quite a, a, a bit of time when it's not far at all. <laughs> Have a little look see around the area. What's the distance here? The distance here is all right. Got a couple of Boris buses. Not sure where blue uh, where um, blue water actually is. Oh, it's in there. It's in a ditch. I think. Is it? Maybe it's there. I think blue water's in like yeah, sort of big sort of disused quarry or something like that. What was that? Yeah, just a ball. Uh, right, let's get the door shut.
Can I stop Gravesend? Which will be Journey's End. Yeah, lovely, uh, lovely journey from Cannon Street, though. There we go. Right, let's get back to the front. I wonder what South Eastern drivers prefer though, this, the 707 or the uh, networkers. I mean, it's probably this because it's got air conditioning and that massive open window. Right, let's speed back up. Speed limit comes, I think that's the time it comes down is at Gravesend, which is down to 15. Get a nice little bit of speed on us. But yeah, I don't think it's going to take us nine minutes to get to. Oh, really? Oh, why did we save that Dartford, didn't we? I mean, literally right at the end, it does that. No worries. Well, I'll just spawn back in and I'll just. Well, you'll, I'll, you'll, I'll, I'll, I'll see you when I see you in. There you go, we're back. Bit of a shame that it did crash that late on. I mean, literally, but like out of the woods now in terms of like where all the trains and AI are. But hey ho. Through Swanscombe. And yeah, then over high speed one and um into Norfolk. I'm just gonna save it like quite a bit now. It's like uh just in case it it goes again, which hopefully it won't. Um but you know you, you never know. Never know. There you go, we're going over HS1. And the about Channel Tunnel Rail Link. And you've got Ebbs Fleet International there. And a North Fleet Station, which is just coming up. Oh, you have the siding there as well. I, I swear on the TSW version, there's a siding. Or maybe nowadays that's all been ripped up. This is a North Fleet. Again, surprised we don't stop here, so it seems like one of the sort of more primary stops. And yeah, shortly into Gravesend. It gave us nine minutes for this as well. <laughs> nine minutes. So from Greenhive to Gravesend. So quite a bit of uh, leeway. Unless we do have to wait for like two or three minutes outside of Gravesend. And fair enough, but should be okay. Cool. All right, let's start popping that down. Double yellow. Probably will be approach control, but can't assume it's going to you know, change once we get there. I think it's uh, 15 or even... To, we'll go 15 miles per hour across the crossover. I mean, it's 30 if we're going you know, onwards towards um, Higham, but um, as we're terminating platform zero, I think it's 15 into it. So we shall be ready for that. See the banner repeater telling us there is a red light coming up. So we'll make sure we're all ready for that. Cool. There it is. So we're either waiting for a while <laughs> or it will be approach control. One of the two. Maybe it will be a Thames link blocking us. Hopefully it is approach control. Although it probably would have changed by now. Well, maybe we are sat here for a bit. 
going 20 miles an hour into it. Okay, well, here we are. Denied, so there is something coming. Boo. Let's have a look, what is it? Oh, there's actually something in there at the moment. 9.49 at Gravesend. I'm saying that, what's the time now? 47. Oh, that's not great timetabling, is it? If you have to wait out for a couple of minutes for that one to come out. And that's probably another city beam. That one's back to Charing Cross. Oh, that's a weekend from Cannon Street. That one's Charing Cross. And there's that Thames link there. Which we'll follow in most of the journey. And obviously, yet to let past us uh, near Deptford. I can't call the sort of the way we caught back up to it. Come on, get moving. One delta five zero or we two lima one nine. Well, we wait. I assume maybe that one goes via um Yeah, that one might go via Sid Cup instead of um well, via uh, Woolwich, like we did. There you go, that one's off, and that is a 707. I can hear the distinctive uh, Desiro motors. So, come on. We want to get in there. We want to finish the journey, this epic journey from Cannon Street all the way to Gravesend. A long old video, but hopefully, everybody has enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, obviously, great work, Nicholas, who put the route together. So they might as well just put the stop in at Northfleet, and then you wouldn't have this issue. You could just stop, but you'd probably stop for maybe 10, 20 seconds. Hello, right, let's go. Platform zero, one of the few in the country. Oh, it, seemed, it seems more just seem to crop up. We've got the one at Red Hill now as well. I think King's, yeah, King's Cross has got platform zero. Across we go. Yeah, nice journey that was. I'm pretty much all within the new bit. Well, apart from maybe the first 10 minutes, which were to Lewisham or 15 minutes or so. There we have it. and slow be right to the end here as well I should be there's a four five six car mark oh maybe not hang on yeah ten ten coaches there not right to the end okay so there's no need to there's no need to there we go that is we've done it that is Gravesend well, hopefully everybody has enjoyed it. That was a long old journey uh, from yeah, Cannon Street down to Gravesend. Hopefully everybody has enjoyed it. Um, oh, that's reset. Actually, once when we when we loaded in again, it must have gone back to Cannon Street. Oh well. Uh, links can be found in the usual places: Discord, PayPal, merch store. Apart from that, thanks all for watching. I'll leave a link also for the route itself, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.